for Sandy Lands with Pavlich back, with the injured blokes McFarlane back. This the the rankings that uh, this is the recipe. You know, we all yeah, know that what yeah. it's supposed to be. The inside fifties points against some pressure applied. That's where they sit. I well, mean, yeah. all the indicators are very healthy. Well, I think you're looking for trends, and, and you're right. I mean, it's a tough game against Richmond, but the trend at Frio is very good. I mean, the trend at Frio suggests they're going in the right direction. The trend is. If they do get their best team on the field and they play their best football, it's clearly up there with the best two or three teams in the competition. The other f recipe for winning flags is you've got to have your best players and your match winners playing well. And at uh, three-quarter time, they needed a few blokes to step up, and they did. Stephen Hill was probably the best of all. He, he was my one covenant on this prediction yeah. that Fremont could win it. You need a... a a wild card yeah. in September, and this is the bloke. There's a lot of Michael Long about him. Mm, he can just yeah. get the ball, get out of trouble, and he's just got such a beautiful left foot. I think if he has a big September, they definitely can win the Premiership. Well, he's just something different. I mean, Barlow, Mundy and Fife are all good midfielders. I mean, they're, they're not quick, but this is the guy that just adds. And I think Pierce's addition is really good because you've now got a one-two punch. Do you go to Hill? Do you go to Pierce? I don't think you can lock both of them mm. away, particularly with Mundy. Yeah, Fife and Barlow. And, and you're right, if he does have a... He changes the game. He's a game changer and he's electric when he gets to football and he's a really good ball user. Jared, you saw them firsthand. That's as good as West Coast have played for a long time. That was old West Coast pressure, wasn't it? It was fantastic. Second quarter, they were running at world record uh, <laughs> tackles. I think it was 61. Bear in mind they're missing four yeah. or five of their very best yep. midfielders. They've lost their rebound. They're introducing some kids and they responded to uh, John Morsfold really well. I think at the end of the day they didn't have the juice to run out the game. They'd be disappointed they weren't more competitive. But uh, the best four-quarter player for me on the day was Chris, Chris Mayne. I thought he was a bit stiff. For all of us, we all went for Chris Mayne. Yep. Did he win the medal? Not that I saw, no. Unless yeah. it was two given out. <laughs> Uh, I just think his work rate... And I think Ross took a spare one down. He wasn't, he wasn't prepared I think he would have got Ross's medal. But look, his work rate, I think his ability to tackle, and we don't talk about him a lot, I guess, over here, because, you know, in terms of all Australian, but he's a different type of forward, isn't he? I mean, he's yep. a big forward that can take Place a mark. Tall, yep. he, he can pl push up the ground through your... Not, not as a midfielder, but he can push through the midfield area. He's and a he battering can get round, Ruzzi. He is, oh, yeah. And he can mark it like this. And, and he can you know, finish. And he can finish yeah. as well. No, he's, he, a, he's the package. I mean, he, he did win the medal, did he? No, he missed out on the Just medal. Just missed uh, the medal. That's true. Barlow actually had another good game. And Barlow's a very consistent yep. player. But yeah. uh, I think Ken Judge and you might have a chat during is the Judgey week. Is Judgey on the panel? Judgey was on the panel. The former Hawthorne you on the West Coast. Say, he would have voted him second then, did he? He got ten umpires, sorry. In fact, he got ten of the votes from the uh, coaches, so they were in... Uh, yeah, they liked his game. They did absolutely like it. The other guy who was uh, on fire, I love watching this bloke play, and I think he, he's better up the ground when he's freed up, is Jack Darling. Yeah. It was his best game by an absolute mile. He's been a contributor, but this was a match-winning performance. <coughs> they needed some blokes to step up, and this guy, from the <laughs> word go, he put in a performance that uh, belied his age. John Walsfold made a really... Uh, pertinent comment after the match. Very few people at his age are doing what he does and the expectations are extreme but that's yeah. why. But he did a lot of that last year Joe. He did. And he's Didn't been he? down on outputs he just, for goals this year. I yeah. mean you would have seen it live but more than you can see it on television but he just looked to work a lot harder. Mm. He was on the screen a lot more than, than what he has been mm. when you watch the the, the Eagles and, and I, it just looked free it looked like he was up the ground a bit more turning them around it just wasn't I'm not sure he's a stay at home forward no, I, like you know? up the ground. I mean Maine's a, a really good prototype for him because Maine works up and back and I, I think he just needs to, to play that different type of role rather than the key, key forward role The West Coast defence has been dismantled by injuries yep. how do they cope? Yeah, look, I think West Coast at the moment are a team that's got to do everything right because they do have a lot of injuries and they've probably got let down in the last quarter. And we just look here, and this is an interesting one here. Pierce, you see, comes off the ground, which, which is going to happen. So that's obviously there's going to be someone replacing them. You're looking at about seven versus three, four Eagles versus Dockers going forward. And as we, as we move forward, not to notice at the moment, but Pavlich is the guy that's actually coming on the ground. This is where communication, discussion, talk... Yeah, people, someone's got to be saying, there's Pav. He's a pretty important player mm. for him. And he would have had a set matchup. All of a sudden, he comes on the ground and takes an easy mark. And this was the difference in the game. We saw it here. Here we go. This is Fife versus Brown. Now, why he left him, I'm not 100% certain, because he's got support up the ground, but just recklessly leaves him, leaves Fife in the middle of the ground. And bearing in mind, the game was decided in the last quarter. This is in the last quarter, and he's still by himself. It's another goal. Mm. So what I'm saying, I agree. I think Eagles, a great effort, but they're in the stage now with, with injuries. They need to do everything right to win the game. You can't have those sort of mental, mental communication you know, lapses when you're playing against good teams.